Hey everyone, Mitch coming in for the Khmer Score Studio. Welcome to the show. So on today's episode, I've got a bit of a crazy new combo for you, or should I say new combos? There's a lot of potential with this brand new card that got spoiled a little while ago from Wilds of Eldraine, and players out there are already saying, what can I do to break things? Because you know, there's a lot of Johnnies out there like me, I mean, I would consider myself a Johnny and um, not a Johnny, as in the character, a Johnny, as in someone who likes to make really weird, crazy decks and crazy combos that other players might not think about. So let's jump into it on this episode and talk about that brand new card and talk about the potential that it has for crazy shenanigans. So first up, well, we're, we're not going to talk about that brand new card. I'm sorry. We're going to talk about training grounds just as an example to kind of set the ground on why this combo is just kind of crazy. So, Training Grounds is an enchantment that actually was reprinted pretty recently for just a single blue mana. It used to be like $20 or so. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana and that costs less one mana. So, this is a very powerful card that works great in decks that utilize activated abilities, especially ones from your commander that, well, maybe cost a good amount of mana. I mean, think like Thrasios, right? That one costs four mana to activate with this simple one mana enchantment play that reduces it down by two. Now, the thing is, again, this kind of a card, again, like all the cards that have like reduced cost of activated abilities for creatures, pretty much, I mean, I, I, I think every single one of them essentially says, yeah, can't reduce the mana and that costs less than one mana because they don't want you having just zero mana activations because that could be pretty broken. That being said, um, let's go on to the turtle. Blossoming Tortoise. A 3-3 three, three turtle for two green green that apparently is already a $20 card. I mean, it's going to go down most likely. It is a mythic. It's pretty powerful, but it, that price should go down by the time the actual set is released. This is during spoiler season. Prices are typically inflated. It says, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, mill three cards, return a land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tap. So, some potential ramp there, which is fantastic. Activated abilities of land you control cost one less to activate. That does not say... This effect can't reduce the mana that costs less one mana. I'm not sure exactly why they didn't put that on there. I mean, obviously, there's more creatures that this can apply to, or more times that that effect could apply to creatures being broken than lands. But, I mean, usually when it comes to wizards, like, being hesitant to do things, they usually try to put a stop to Johnny's fun sometimes because they're like, oh, it only triggers once each turn. Activate only as, one as, a, one, only as a sorcery or, you know, can't reduce then less than one. They didn't do that in this case. Also, land creatures you control get plus plus one. That's nice. Um, but hey, we care a little bit more than plus plus one when it comes to this activation. Because, I mean, just with a one card combo with this, now obviously you need the right commander deck for this because, um, well, it's a little outside of just mono green colors. But hey, Lava Claw Reaches, let's talk about this card. Enters the battlefield tap. You can tap for a black or red. So again, obviously you need to be at least in Jund to be able to use this combo. Cost one black and a red, and until end of turn, Lava Call reaches comes a 2 2 black and red elemental creature with pay X. This creature gets plus X plus zero until end of turn. It's still a land. So, because it's still a land, again, this new tortoise said activate abilities of lands you control. Cost one less to activate. It doesn't say as long as those lands aren't also creatures. That'd be a really weird thing to put on there. But you basically, again, with this turtle in play and this in play, this is, hey, uh, infinite power, so much power. Being able to say, okay, just pay a single black and a single red, because again, you need that reduction for that ability as well. Becomes a 2-2, two -two, and all of a sudden, you can pump this power to whatever you want. You can infinitely activate that again, again, and again. I guess you have to technically choose numbers, right? But still, yeah, sure, I hit you for a trillion damage, essentially, with my land quite fun, right? So that's just a simple combo, and I guess it's a trillion and one, because you get the plus plus one as well. Anyways, a very, very, very simple combo. Again, yeah, is this a bit crazy and out there, and would you build an entire deck around it? Absolutely, there are gonna be players out there that do that, because this is Commander, and that's what Commander's for, right? Those crazy out there combos that players are like, oh yeah, it's a Blossoming Turtle, cool, okay, you can get some lands out of your graveyard and ramp, right? And you're like, no, I mean, yes, but no, that's not the purpose. The purpose is, let's just smack you for a ton. So, yeah, that's kind of fun. Let's talk about some other things that you can do with this as well, because, again, 
That not having uh, that not having the restriction, I guess I should say again, of like can't reduce less than one mana has a lot of implications. Uh, and yeah, obviously a Blink Moth Nexus is one of them, right? You can pay a single mana. Blink Moth Nexus comes a one one Blink Moth artifact creature with flying or creature token, artifact creature with flying until turn so I land. So you can just turn this into a one one whenever you want for free. Is it that impactful? No, but I mean, hey, you're not paying for it. Also, you get that tap ability for free as well. And, and yes, again, reducing the cost of activated abilities of lands. If lands have certain ones, it can be very effective. Great. Great. I mean, just like, uh, uh, what's that one that you pay two and taps the, the, the Nyx, uh, or the Shrine, or whatever one? There's a couple of really powerful ones that, yeah, you can reduce that cost, and cool, it saves you some. There's other ones, of course, you get free, like Ink Moth Nexus, basically the exact same thing, but one with Infect. Uh, Mishra's Factory, make, basically making it to a 2-2. Two -two. Or Mutable, again, also making to a 2-2. Two -two. Or Obor Oboro, there we go, Palace in the Clouds, a single mana to bounce it back to its owner's hand. That can have some uh, landfall shenanigans in there as well. And you have these infinite activation, I think Crackdown Constructs, the one that I built an entire deck around a while back. The one that's like, hey, yeah, you have infinite activation, it's cool. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of interesting ways that you can really play with things like that. But now let's take uh, this a, a step further, because let me just go back to that turtle really quick. Um, hey, so Blossoming Tortoise is, um, well, not legendary. If it was legendary, that'd be you could build some pretty crazy decks around it. And again, being a legendary Blossoming Tortoise commander, it is not legendary. So um, yeah, if you're in blue, you can clone it very effectively very easily and you can stack those abilities most notably again that cost reduction red relocation a very simple one again you can create a copy of target creature cool but if it's kicked you get five tone copies instead so let's just pretend that it's kicked okay so now we have six tortoise tortoises tortoises yeah i said tor tortoises tortoises in play and now all of a sudden the activated abilities of lands we control cost six less to activate and land creatures get plus six plus six all the other things as well ramping great cool um hey with that uh now dark depths yes you can already combo with dark depths in another way right thespian stage right that's a very simple combo to actually get merit lage out let me just read this real quick ledger is still land enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it pay three to remove an ice counter from it no ice counters on it sacrifice to get a 2020 black avatar creature token with uh, flying indestructible merit lage yep that is quite potent quite powerful again combos are made around this and uh, this is yet another one that if you have enough reduction you don't have to pay again it does not say it has to cost at least one so you just say okay yeah i pay that i pay it again i pay it again pay it again because all my turtles in play great cool um yeah reducing that to down to no noise counters and getting that merit lage so have fun with that uh crawling barons yet another land that can just get infinitely large this time permanently infinitely large pay for put two counters on it then you may have become a zero zero and so basically just infinitely get counters on it it's a massive land cool swing out and take out a player if you can get it through uh but also there are some other implications with this that kind of make this even crazier and this is the direction that i would go with my johnny deck around this i'd probably hey you know i like five color decks obviously i like having my options right so i like my options of my crazy combos that being said you don't really need one because uh hey ashaya soul of the wild can actually utilize this turtle in a very cool way star star elemental for five mana in total in green power tough to see two number lands you control that's nice more importantly non-token creatures you control are forest lands and other types so every single one of your creatures is now also a forest land it is also again a land meaning that your tortoise can reduce their activated abilities by one no restriction on that that says again oh it has to be you know you have to pay at least one it can't reduce to less than one or whatever that is essentially now every single one of your creatures if they have an activity activated ability of one you can really use and abuse that again as many times as you want that being said with this yeah again i'd probably go five color to give myself options because yeah you can use clone effects and whatnot again to just reduce the cost of anything that just has a generic mana cost down to essentially nothing and then just use it infinitely just as many times as you want again think thrasios if you have four creatures in play that are those turtles cool you reduce that you can just do that as much as you want draw your entire deck and all your lands and play whatever that is or yeah like bog initiate this very simple unplayed card becomes just absurdly cool and absurdly good with this combination again a one one wizard uh, probably human wizard these days i i, I should have pulled up the actual oracle text on it my apologies for one in black still it has pay a single generic mana add black to your mana pool so that just becomes again because the turtle says oh let's reduce the cost of this which is now a land thanks to a shia because it's now a forest cool the bog initiate forest cool good uh let's reduce that down to zero so this has now pay zero add black to your mana pool infinite black mana incredibly simple incredibly easy i mean i guess technically yeah it's a three card combo 
We're in Commander, okay? We've built crazier decks, all right? We've done crazier things than trying to get a turtle out with an elemental and then a bog witch to say, you know what? I just want infinite mana, and that's all I want. How simple and easy is that? So yeah, just being able to do crazy things like this is kind of why Commander exists, right? Using a card like Blossoming Tortoise, which... Again, it is a pretty cool card. Just it can be really good, especially in, you know, land ramp decks. It can be good in, you know, decks that care about milling, getting things in your graveyard. Just getting an Evolving Wilds out again and again and again can be pretty cool with this. But yeah, you can also just take this in. Um, Hey, yeah, let's just Johnny this. Let's just make this into an absolutely crazy card where we're going to build the deck around getting this out, maybe getting clone copies of it, and turning all of our things into land so that we can utilize their abilities again and again and again as many times as we want doing crazy things. Yeah, the potential for this card is pretty absurd, again, because Wizards, again, who typically is so, so careful when it comes to, again, like, training grounds, like, always saying, like, this effect can't reduce the cost of, or reduce the mana, and that costs less than one mana. Because Wizards, uh, sometimes they don't like Johnnies so much, because Johnnies like to do crazy off-the-wall things and break things, and Wizards like to kind of stop things from being broken sometimes, which is okay in some circumstances, but in this one, again, they're like, nah, no one's gonna build around, you know, lands and that kind of stuff. Yes, we will. Yes, us Johnnies will. We will build a crazy combo with this amazing turtle and say, you know what? Let's just get it out. Let's get a shy out. Let's get all the creatures out and let's do crazy things. And Lava Claw reaches your opponent to the ground. So yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this. Let me know what other crazy combos you think about with this amazing turtle. And uh, yeah, of course, as always... Well, actually, uh, there is a card list link in the description below in case you want to get started on this crazy turtle deck. So yeah, just, just make sure you check that out. But now, uh, with that uh, being said, thanks again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all of their support. 